All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I have another eBay auction. I paid $35 for this package of cards. Um, the description read 200 plus all rare um, and or foil or foil rare magic cards. So I figured for, for 35 bucks, how can I go wrong, right? I mean, that's like, what, 15 cents a card, if that. Okay, nothing else in the package. Sealed them up in a separate package. Handy dandy box cutter. Don't do this at home, folk kids. You're not allowed to use a box cutter until you're 18. Okay, well, the packaging leaves something to be desired. They're all just kind of loose in there. Titan of Eternal Fire. Okay, and that looks like it. No letter, no note, no nothing. So that looks probably, I'd probably say around 200 ish. Let's see if there's any, I doubt there's going to be any gems in there, but there may be some. And then we got some Shriveling Rot, Sage Eye Avengers, Quirion Dryad, Trading Post. Great Harvester, so it's all all editions going way back when. Silk Lash Spider, Skelplexus, Atogatog. I remember actually building a deck around the Atogatog. Uh, Spawn Rice, Reverse the Sands, Scuttling Doom Engine, Skirk Alarmist, Drifting Gin, Heaven and Earth. Mirror Welder, Didlock Trap, Pentavis. You see him in any type of like rare collection, I swear. It's like all rares, and you will find a Pentavis. Uh, Beacon of Destiny, moderately played uh, Sapling Cluster there. Arc Slogger, sixth edition, Sibilant Spirit. Oh my, Permeating Mass, Sigil of the Empty Throne, Sigiled Sword of Valerian. Is it made of Valerian steel? I don't know. Place out of those. Angris Marauders, Blood Crazed Paladin, and it looks like a playset of those as well. Ah, oh, Kasali Slingers, and not quite a place out of those. Sanguine Sacrament. Oh, there's the other one for the playset. Chain Reaction, probably a place out of those, because those are worthless. Yup. Steam Augury. Bishop of Rebirth, and again, it looks like a playset. And like I said, I didn't expect to see a lot of value, but you know, if you can sell each card from anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar on a $35 purchase, 200 plus cards, you know, you're looking at 100 to 150 dollars. I can handle that. Old growth dryads. And if you get just one ringer, just one, you, you've you made your money. Like in that last auction where I got that foil uh, furnace, and it's it paid for the auction itself. Gus Cloak Savior, Masked Gorgon. Oh, I have a ton of these. If anybody wants some, let me know. Because I got, oh yeah, that'll be another video. I purchased 50 of the 2017 gift boxes for $8 each. So um, hopefully, I think I can make my money back on the packs alone. But Argent Sphinx, Kamal, Pit Fighter, Collective Blessing. No, no collective <laughs> faded retribution. Sanguine Sacrament, which I think we saw earlier. Sage of Latinum. Nantuko Shade. Damnable Pact. Alter Reality. Alter Shaman. Forbidden Crypt. I actually think it might be worth a few bucks there. Um, Jareth, Leonin Titan. Treacherous Pit Dweller. 
Low mean shaman. Blah humbug. Simic manipulator. Blah humbug. Uh, Guildfeud. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Every time I see a, a bad rare, all I can think of is is a bad boy gaming going cabbage. Uh, profound journey, uh, heightened awareness, colossal whale, ghastly remains, faded conflagration, reverse damage, uh, decimator web, Gengris Goliath, phantom nuntuko, uh, scattered to the winds with. Followed by Polymorpheus Rush, Drog Skull Cavalry, uh, Sigil of the New Dawn, Marshall's Anthem, Blood Blood Soaked Champion, Ooh, a Charmed Pendant from Odyssey. So, like I said, some of these go back a ways. Uh, Battle of Wits, which I always like to see some of the old rares, just to be like, you look at magic through the years, and there's this like undulating wave of power creep and then it dulls back down like you look at stuff from urza's block right and you're like wow that stuff was nuts insane powerful at the time and then they're like wizards realize that and then oh let's do mercadian masks and just kind of throw it everything worthless um and then you go back and you see mirrored in block oh my god some of the most powerful cards in all of magic right there in Mirrodin block and then we go to oh let's take the dive down with the power level and do kamagawa um but from what i understand with this blessed reincarnation perfect timing for that card um wizards has decided that they're not going to worry about the power level they're going to try to break the power level see how many cards they can break uh, they're looking at um artificial evolution they're looking at trying to get a lot more markets under their belt instead of looking at standard and being like standard is the end all be all of magic um they're looking at tabletop they're looking at especially commander so what card would be really awesome and commander might break standard format might have to be banned but they are looking at pioneer format they are looking at modern format um they're i i don't think they worry about so much the vintage and legacy formats anymore um especially since scg dropped them um they're looking at overall how much product can they sell to everyone and they realize that like with this guy this if high arcanist that commander is a thing and it's a big thing and they're looking at trying to enhance their share of that commander market not make it so much secondary um as this thicket elemental but and they don't want to be lost in the woods but they want to come out like a volcanic dragon and worm weevil coil <laughs> themselves around that entire group of people so with things like soul conduit and thought dissector and weathered bodyguards and conquering manticore and syndicate trafficker they're going to try to um make more products available for the general problem public not just um standard players dearly departed flame blade angel uh jeering instigator mercurial a uh, pretender cold phoenix flying haste wow it's a phoenix with flying in haste who would have thought right <laughs> hakuda born of ash chaos ma a megatog I think there's probably well over 200 cards here. Um, Ageless Sentinels, Angelic Captain, Garuk's Horde, Ujin's Insight, Prism Array, Rin's Run Packmaster, Didapult. Hey, there's Gerard, Hero of the Weatherlight. Bloodflyer Colossus Bone Horde. Another Magma Phoenix. Let's see if it has flying and haste. No, it has flying. No haste. Might of Oaks. God, that was such a card back in the day. <laughs> Man, you played that on something like your haunted wampus or something, and it just pff, okay, game over. Um Skirk Alarmus Primal Order. That one's actually in pretty good shape too. 
Um, psychic Intrusion. I really like the variety. I mean, there was a cl couple clumps of, of play sets there. But, I mean, overall, the variety of this is just amazing. Uh, Triassic Egg. Uh, Repelling Scouts. Um, the description also said that this guy is a teacher um, that uses magic to teach his classroom uh, and I'm, I'm assuming it's either going to be math or statistics or something, but um, he's like, so what I do is I sell parts of my collection off that I have extras of to uh, raise money to build these kids' decks to play with and stuff and take home. And I'm like, that's really cool. So um, if any of you would like to know who the seller is, please uh, leave a comment below, uh, email me. My email is included in the video. Um, and I will send you back an email with the seller so you can purchase stuff from him because like I said this guy seems really legit he seems like he uh, is not going to try to screw you over um, and like I said I mean most of the time you aren't going to get a profit off of something like this and if you do you're doing well uh, but I mean just the variety of cards lava ball trap that this guy has and delusions of mediocrity that he's sending now and and you know he he's definitely not like cherry picking he's just like okay these are all extra rares that i got let me throw them in and we'll see what we got other world atlas uh sin prodder abzan academy skill borrower exert influence rekindled flames Sahili's Artistry, Razorman, Razorman Manticore, Stang from Chronicles, um, Demon of Catastrophe, Moratorium Stone, Lantern Scout, Blinking Spirit, oh god, Haunting Echoes, I want to talk about Mildex, man, Haunting Echoes, Rowan, Mizium Mortars was such a huge card when, when Ravnica was out as in Standard, it was just devastating. Scrap heap. Maro named after you know who. Look at look at those initials. Split it in half. What does Maro? Mark Rosewater. Yes. Eh, get in focus, you stupid camera. Anyways, Maro stood for Mark Rosewater. Um, for those of you that didn't know. Scourge of Skola Vale. Hell's Thunder. Liege of the Pit. Spellbane Centaur. Elven Warhounds. i got to see where the best spot, now that I'm more than like halfway through, I didn't even realize. There we go. Okay, so i got to put them up a little bit. Glaring Spotlight. Flying Crane Technique. It is the Karate Kid on card form. Victory's Herald. Charm Breaker Devils. Fated. Because we know if it was unfated, it wouldn't have happened, right? Or is that a conundrum? I don't know. Fated intervention, everybody. Uh, flesh and blood. Nightscape master. Scuttling doom engine. Uh, Gail Potter mage. Spellweaver helix. Pitiless Horde. Dahagatar, the adamant? Dagatar, the adamant? Yeah. Search the city. <laughs> All right. Faded Infatuation. Balagad Thief. Geist Honored Monk. Did Bridge Goliath. Grim Backwoods, Dross. I'm just going to quickly go through the rest because this video is already at 15 minutes. See if there's anything good in there. Lava Ball, Search City, Long Forgotten, Gohai, Ancestral Memories, Sphinx of the Thune, Call of the Wild, Mugosai, Terra Stomper, Imaginary Pet, Rustic, Wild Ricochet, Siege Dragon, Larceny. Tethered Griffin, Order of Success, Boon Satire, Cabal, and you know, Cruel Ultimatum, 
it, like I said, nothing like that stands out like, hey, there's a $50 card. But what I'll do is, as usual, I'll go through them. I will go ahead and figure out what my total price overall that I've made on it or can sell for. Um, obviously, these are going to have some condition issues. They aren't going to be all near mint like that last collection was. Um, booby trap. Uh, <laughs> And then we will go ahead and uh, do my second part of the video, talking about maybe some of the cards we found, overall uh, price, and what we possibly could make uh, if everything sells. All right, so once again, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave comments, do all that good stuff. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, um, if you like more of these, if you don't. Um, and just give as much feedback as you can people all right i'm trying to get this going i'd love for to hear your input um other than that have a wonderful day and we will see you in the second part